For over half a century, we have looked at the stars, and time and again, our curiosity brings us back to one place, Mars. We've sent spacecraft, rovers, orbiters, journeying millions of kilometers across the void, just to land, to explore, to listen. We've beamed radio signals into the void, transmitted messages encoded with human voices, maps of our world, even music. Hopeful echoes cast across the cosmic sea. We hoped for a reply, anything, a sound, a signal, a simple hello from the red planet. But all we've ever received is silence, a silence that is both haunting and profound, stubbornly persistent, almost poetic in its emptiness. This silence begs a question that haunts scientists and dreamers alike. Why has Mars never answered back, or perhaps the more unsettling thought? What if it did answer and we just didn't know how to listen? Mars has fascinated humanity for centuries, long before we even dreamed of space travel. Ancient astronomers gazed at its reddish glow, a tiny beacon against the vast night sky, sparking endless questions. Was it a dead world or a planet teeming with life? In the late 18s, the discovery of what were called canals sent ripples through the scientific and public imagination. Some believed these strange lines were evidence of an intelligent civilization, a network built by Martians trying to survive in a harsh, drying world. Though we now know these canals were optical illusions, the hope remained, the hope that somewhere in the red dust, life had taken hold. Mars is our closest planetary neighbor, a world that shares many similarities with Earth, seasons, polar ice caps, and evidence of liquid water flowing long ago. It sits within the sun's habitable zone, where temperatures might allow life to exist, at least in some form. Over the decades, we have launched mission after mission, each one peeling back the layers of mystery. Orbiters mapping its surface, landers digging into the soil, rovers traversing its plains. Scientists search for the smallest hints of life, fossils, organic molecules, or even microbial activity. But beyond the science, there is a deeper, almost spiritual connection. Mars represents the unknown, a mirror reflecting our hopes, fears, and our relentless quest to understand our place in the cosmos. To many, it is not just a planet, it is a symbol of possibility. Could life have emerged there? Could we one day call it home? This obsession with Mars is more than exploration. It is a story of longing, for contact, for connection, for an answer to the silence. Over the decades, humanity has poured incredible effort into reaching Mars, sending a fleet of spacecraft to orbit, land, and roam its dusty surface. From the first flybys in the 1960s to the sophisticated rovers of today, each mission is a message in itself, a sign that we're here, seeking answers. But it's not just machines making the journey. We've transmitted signals, radio waves encoded with data and human voices, reaching out across millions of kilometers of empty space. We sent the Arecibo message in 1974, a carefully designed burst of binary code meant to describe us, our biology, and our place in the universe. Spacecraft-like Voyager carried greetings etched on golden records, containing music, sounds of Earth, and messages for any who might find them. More recently, Mars rovers have even played music, a poetic reminder that these missions are not just science, but also a deeply human gesture. Despite all these efforts, the vast void remains silent. No replies, no echoes, no signals of recognition. This silence has puzzled scientists and sparked endless debate. Is the silence because Mars is lifeless? Or is it because the life there, if it exists, speaks a language we cannot yet understand. And it forces us to wonder, are we expecting the wrong kind of answer? Or are we simply listening in the wrong way? But what if there was never any life on Mars? For billions of years, Mars has been a harsh and unforgiving world. Its thin atmosphere offers little protection from deadly cosmic radiation. The planet lacks a strong magnetic field, a shield that, on Earth, protects life from the sun's harmful rays. While evidence suggests that liquid water once flowed on its surface, the question remains, was it ever enough to spark life? 
Without a stable atmosphere, with temperatures plunging far below freezing, and without the protective blanket of a magnetic field, Mars might simply have been too hostile, too barren, even for the simplest forms of life to take hold. The red planet could be a cosmic reminder that not all worlds are destined to harbor life, that the delicate balance we call habitability is rare, fragile, and easily lost. So when we hear the silence, maybe it's not a message from Mars, but a reflection of a universe that doesn't always give us answers. A universe where sometimes the story is just emptiness. What if it never flourished on the surface, but instead found a hidden refuge deep beneath the ground? Here on Earth, life thrives in the most extreme environments. In boiling hot springs, deep ocean vents, and dark caves miles below the surface. These extremophiles survive without sunlight, enduring crushing pressures, toxic chemicals, and complete darkness. Could Mars host similar life forms, hidden away where our rovers cannot reach? Our current technology probes the surface and shallow subsurface, but the true depths remain a mystery. The signs might be subtle, the signals faint, too cryptic for us to recognize as life. Perhaps our search has been limited by what we know, Gendon, our expectations shaped by Earth's life, which might be just one example in a vast cosmic diversity. If life exists on Mars, it might be stranger, quieter, and far more elusive than we imagined. And maybe we just haven't learned how to listen yet. After all the signals sent, the missions launched, the hopes raised, what if silence is in itself the answer? Silence can be more powerful than words. It can speak of absence, yes, but also of something far more profound. The silence from Mars might be telling us about the rarity of life, about the fragile thread that connects us to the universe. It might remind us that the cosmos is vast, indifferent, and that we are both alone and connected in ways we're only beginning to understand. Or perhaps the silence is a mirror, reflecting our own fears, our own loneliness. It forces us to confront the possibility that we might be the first or the last to ask these questions. And in that silence, there is a strange kind of hope, hope that drives us forward to keep searching, keep listening, keep dreaming. Because sometimes the greatest answers come not from the noise we hear, but from the silence we dare to face. Because in the search for life beyond Earth, we are really searching for ourselves, our origins, our place in the vast cosmic ocean. Whether Mars holds secrets of ancient life or remains a silent witness to the universe's mysteries, the journey itself teaches us more about hope, curiosity, and resilience. So next time you look up at the red dot in the night sky, remember the silence is not empty. It's waiting, waiting for us to listen better, to explore further, and to dream bigger because the story of Mars and of life itself is still being written. And maybe, just maybe, the silence is the first word.